finally, we get an XRP ruling related to the lawsuit of the SEC and Ripple needs to pay $125 million in penalty within the next 30 days. This closes the lawsuit that's been going on between the SEC and Ripple since December of 2020. Finally, I guess all investors in XRP are saying that that's behind them. They were found to break unregistered security law to raise funds and this completes this very, very long lawsuit that crippled pretty much XRP since December 2020. Congratulations to the XRP army. The lawsuit is done. They need to pay a fine and that will cover it. But now the real thing is XRP and Ripple do no longer have that excuse to the poor performance of XRP. So now we will see how really XRP will behave. Are we going to have profits for XRP investors? Are they going to make money? Yes, we got a rebound. We almost got to 65 cents and then traded back. Now we are at 61 cents, but we are still below 75 cents and MA50, MA200 are trading sideways. We are in the middle of the bull run for Bitcoin and XRP is trading sideways. Yes, most of the trading was due to the lawsuit constraint if you want but now the lawsuit is gone dumping of coins in august is still on so yes congrats to the xrp army but let's see if now xrp can trade and perform like the XR xrp army expects they're talking about three dollars five dollars xrp i personally don't think it's gonna get there but i'm gonna re report what happens the, if the chart show me three dollars i'll put it in the channel and congratulate everybody on the XRP that we got to three dollars or that they got to three dollars because I'm not investing in XRP I don't trust it at all unless something major happens and I that I get a conviction that it's a good project to invest for now it is not the case XRP will be used for a lot of uh, CBDCs that I think are all going to fail so and i'm not gonna get involved in cbdc so i'm not gonna touch them even if they come from bitcoins blockchain whatever blockchain i don't care i'm not touching cbdc's i don't like them they're going to be issued by governments and they're going to be issued to control whatever you do and track whatever you do and that's not my cup of tea so XRP is involved with a lot of CDCs. They're also involved with stable coins. We'll see what happens with stable coins. I only have stable coins to park money for very short periods of time. For me, it's not a big deal, but will this bring value to the XRP coin? That's the big question. And in my opinion, from my research, it's not the case, but time will tell. So we're trading sideways on XRP. Yes, we rebounded in this red market right now. Fear is kind of high, so it's good. Congrats. But like I said, no more excuses for XRP. And finally, on this weekly chart, we clearly see that we are slightly above the MA200. The MA50 is still below the MA200. We still need a golden cross above the MA200 to really have some kind of momentum for XRP. We are slightly going up, so this could change with the positive news of the end of the lawsuit. We will see. But now the pressure is on Ripple to deliver, to bring value to its investors and see if they can be successful. That's all I have to say. It's all in their court right now. Let's see if they can form, they can perform like the top altcoins out there in the market. So far, it has not been the case, but they had the excuse of the lawsuit. Now it's done. No more excuses. And let's see what they can bring as value to the current long-term investors of XRP. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'll be honest. If we get to $1, $2, $3 XRP, I'll congratulate the XRP army. But the chart needs to show it. Let's see if it will happen. Hit the like, subscribe, continue watching the videos. It's an honest review of what's going on. And investors need to look into it and see if this project is worth investing. At this stage, for me, it's a big no. 
but that's only me. See you all on the next one.